During the recent pastoral visit of Bishop Aloysius to Fontaine Subdivision, Gaza Media made a remarkable stop at the Love and Truth Museum in Nchimbin. This hidden gem established by Nkematem George for Minka offers a profound glimpse into the vanishing Minka culture through intricately crafted artifacts made primarily from coconut shells. The museum was born out of Inkematem's vision to preserve the heritage of the old land and to ensure that the rich traditions of the Minka culture do not fit into obscurity. Yes, good afternoon. I'm Inkematem George for Minka. This is Minka Love and Truth Museum in Chumbin. Uh, I try to come out with this artifact because the culture is already decaying. Many things are wasted. They don't know. They don't do to collect it. You cannot, when you bring children to tell them something, if you are not showing them, they cannot really understand. That is why I came back to collect some of the antiquities of the land, especially the Minka antiquities, because the carving that I'm doing is the Minka carving. Among the artifacts displayed are carvings believed to be over 400 years old, each with its unique historical significance. One such artifact is the pit used in the Fonts Palace to store oil, a practical yet symbolic piece of cultural history. It's, there are so many things inside here that we have a lot of significance in the people of the land in For example, you see the this pot. This is a very big pot that they used to store red oil. And this one was placed in the, the Fonts on uh, time until the women or a finish before they go to the chief to get so it is also a very significant instrument in the land then you see all this this is they use it in pounding uh, uh, the, the, the really traditional uh, fufu they call a very many yeah, so these are they use them for that the museum's wall are adorned with carved faces representing warriors and deities, figures once believed to protect the land. These carvings serve as a haunting yet beautiful reminder of the ancestral spirits that once guided the community. Since its inception 12 to 13 years ago, the Love and Truth Museum has been a beacon of cultural education. It has attracted history students from Seed of Wisdom College on two occasions and even welcomed international visitors on three occasions. Yes, I used to entertain, entertain the Seed of Wisdom students two times. Then I uh, have entertained uh, two whites, a woman and a man, for us on three times. After the I love the museum so much that yes, we have visited this museum twice. However, the museum's vibrant flow of guests came to an abrupt halt with the outbreak of the socio-political crisis in the region. Despite this, the artifacts remain resilient with fire being the only element capable of destroying them. Only fire can destroy this thing. Only fire can destroy this thing. Only fire. If you sleep in the rain, in the sun, you come and pick it, it remain like this. So it can last for so many years because those are material that I'm trying to identify so that it can continue to remain for the generation to see. What makes this museum even more extraordinary is the creative process behind the artifacts. In Kematem George explains that every design originated from his subconscious, a testament to the deep spiritual and emotional connection he shares with his crafts. The artistic work that I produce comes from my subconscious. And when it comes to the subconscious, it came to my brain as I produce it. When I'm thinking, I meditate of the land and I love it because it is our land. So many things come into my mind to do it. Because so many people have lost that uh, idea. The generation is passing that most of those stories is on the road. As the museum stands quietly in its corner of Inchembin, its founder dreams of a future where more of such spaces are created across communities. Inkematem believes museums like this are crucial for teaching younger generations about their history and culture, bringing the gap between the past and the future. 
think like a museum should be encouraged to even to the palaces. Nearly all the palaces in the bank should own a museum. So that the children, the young generation who never knew, like Afontema uh, when you would never saw him, but if the the, 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 the beautiful uh, statue, people will come and see and say this is a for the world. So for the generation, I wish that this so many museums should be open for the young generation to come and look. The Love and Truth Museum is more than a collection of artifacts. It is a living archive of a people's identity and a testament to the importance of preserving cultural heritage for generations to come. For Gaza Media, this is Karine Jualim. <laughs> I'm gonna go